Dennis Shanahan live for us tonight in the Weather Center with Dennis everything that we know so far about that earthquake. And Eric, we do have earthquake detection on our weather computer so we can give you an idea, a closer idea of where this quake struck. The Dixie Fire burn scar, that is the area near Lake Almanor where this happened. So as we look as the crow flies, it's about 120 miles northeast of Sacramento and we felt it here. I was having a conversation here in the studio it sounded like somebody was walking on the roof and then we looked up and the lights were swinging. Now, initially we get a report of two earthquakes and then usually one of these reports will win out as the final. But in the initial uh, minutes here, we had a 5.5 report at 419 at a depth of less than a mile. It's a very shallow quake. And then the other report of 5.5 5 at 419 at a depth of six miles. And where you see these smaller dots, those are the aftershocks since the initial quake. So we've had that 2.5 aftershock at 434. And then we had a 2.6 reported at 445. So we will continue to monitor what we expect to be a very seismically active day there near Lake Almanor. Now, as we look at the USGS, this is a little bit hard to see, I realize, from your vantage point. But what we're looking at here is the detection map. And there's little triangles. And I can just tell you that anywhere there's a triangle, this quake could have been felt. So there are triangles near Modesto, down by San Jose, the entire Bay Area, along the coast in Eureka, Medford, Oregon. And then to the east, we look toward Reno and it was felt there. So definitely this quake having an impact far away from the epicenter.